Hi, this is the weekly horoscope for Sagittarius for the week of May 8th, 2023. Hello, my Saggies. Show your love and support to your girl, Marie, by liking, subscribing, and sharing, and thank you for everyone who has. So, my Saggies, you can be reluctant when helping others, especially those that done you dirty or wronged you. You can be really going through it at this time, and you may not feel like being the bigger person in this situation either. Ooh. Your decisions in love, family, and business, as well as your choices in home are all influenced by your divine connection and a sense of a mission and a purpose so there is a reason why you feeling to do certain things at this time because your soul says you need to go that way okay um you may be mo most enthusiastic and show your great greatest spark of inspiration when you are helping others heal emotionally nurturing home family and security of others is a spiritual calling for some of you so it's like that kind of situation going on but you know for your soul's sake just to do the good deed you know and be about bigger picture at this time for the sake of your soul um but also you could be dealing with loss and separation and that's kind of like god forbid um a situation where you have an opportunity to say goodbye to somebody but you like being petty about it and you don't want to go there, you know, and I'm sure we're going to get it like a lot of like stories on the comment bar. So I won't be surprised, but it's up to you what you want to do. I mean, if you don't want to go there, if you don't want to say goodbye, if you don't want to be the bigger person and help somebody out or just be there for them, maybe it's somebody in their, in their family that passed and you don't want to be there and you don't want to go because you don't like the person or you never did like the person, you know, Mars is not well aspected on Tuesday or this week in the eighth house. You can be dealing with separation or loss on Monday. The universe could be, um, like bringing you unexpected expenditures because you have a T square happening. So change is happening at this time. Lots of energy here but i'm going to try to get it the good stuff in at this time because mars is not well aspected so this could be unexpected expenditures dealing with separation or loss you can be accident prone at this time you can be dealing with illnesses god forbid with this energy here um yeah so anyways so at this time you need to be on the right side of the law because you have um hades coronas and you have mars there in your um eighth house and you have Venus. So you have four planets in there. So that's a stellum, all right, at 23 degrees. So you need to be on the right side of the law because you can. this could be crimes of passions happening. So, you you know, don't be pushing yourself um, onto other people at this time. Um, be careful with dealing with stalkers with this energy. Or this could be somebody, like, crushing on you or somebody obsessed with you or you're obsessed with them or crushing on them. So you need to reach out with them. You could be spying on them on their social media pages and stuff like that. Just be aware it's not the easiest time for you emotionally. So be on the right side of the law um your children could be accident prone also so be careful with them when driving because they could raise your insurance rate at this time by you know being like doing their own thing okay or they could be more of the focus at this time as well pluto's in retrograde in Aquarius right now in your third house is this going to bring about changes with the third six first and no the third six twelfth and ninth house this can be emotional changes self-realizations you tend to rationalize a lot and keep a lot to yourself this is a good time to work on covert projects looking for a job your work environment becomes more controlled and micromanaged you may not appreciate the lack of freedom going on at work. Your coworkers can play mind games on you. Watch, don't allow people to stress you out at this time because you can have a nervous breakdown, okay? Don't allow yourself to pre put pressure on yourself to be a perfectionist or have things organized. So try to go more with the flow. You're very um, um, pessimistic and cynical at this time with this energy because on this day certain things are not working out the way you want them to be or you're go or you're very emotional at this time you can feel a little bit vulnerable at this time you may have to reveal your truth to someone avoid to um, being pushy or assertive to get what you want or to get your way because it's not going to happen others may consider you to be a bully you can get more with honey than you do with spit and vinegar this could be a good time for business picking up um, clarity you can be working on the self a great time for teachers or you better understand certain subjects um, better than other people or this could be like on the job training and you could be training somebody on something that you know a lot about at this time you will be called upon to focus on 
on changing the way you communicate with siblings, relatives, neighbors, and other family members at this time. So this could be like you getting lectured. This could be like them talking to you and the way they talk to you is going to make a lot of sense and stuff like that. So I see a reconciliation happening. I don't see, feel like even though some of you want to walk away from this relationship and be like, I'm done, I'm over it. It's not done yet. And then you're going to realize maybe I should stop doing that or maybe I should work on that, that kind of thing. Um, Saturn is forming a kite energy in Pisces. This could be a move happening, a great time for buying or selling a home. Um, you can be taking your love relationship to the next level. You two could be moving in with each other despite the energies that be. This could be a great time for business picking up. You can feel a connection with source energy. Um, you can be dealing with your emotional hangups and healing um, those emotional hangups that you have. Your domestic life is likely to be more stable now with fewer disruptions. Relationships with your parents should be better. An interest in past history or your heritage is more likely. It is often a time of financial stability and conservative financial management. Relationships with superiors should be good. Elders may provide financial advice. Your attention to work turns more serious. If is a good time for making important decisions related to work, office environment and procedures may become more efficient so that you're able to complete your work ahead of time. You may have to get along with less now and you're likely to be able to do that. You may strip your life down to the bare essentials because you're trying to save money at this time. You may be more about your freedom with this energy here. For some of you, you can be going into hermit mode and not making any plans for the weekend. It is a good time to take care of unfinished business. Try Try to find some peace and quiet. This is a time of practical nature of relationships um, over feeling nature. This relationship function is practicality and smooth. And there may be an element of formality or professionalism happening with this relationship. So this is like somebody helping you and you paying them to do things for you or work around your house, um, that kind of thing. In romantic relationship, there's a tendency of unequal arrangement happening. Often there is a cause of a substantial age difference here, or one partner is doing all the work in the relationship while the other one does nothing, you know, so it could be like that kind of situation. Friday, not all of you at this time, you can be experiencing unfortunate financial hardships, God forbid. This could also be your social situation changing radically at this time here. I feel like you may be surrounded by strangers. This could be getting a new job at this time with this energy. This could be for some of you going to a new school last minute, but still, um, you're involved in a love relationship. You can be dealing with an on again, off again relationship for some of you or a long distance relationship or this could be a crush that you have that and you could be revisiting that or they could be coming back into the picture at this time i would take whatever freedom free advice that you give um that you're getting at this time being given to you i would take that and really listen to what other people have to say to you say to you at this time because free advice is the best advice i do see you're more about emotional gratification at this time you could be getting lit this week with this energy. I see also for some of you here a reversal of fortune happening around you. It could be you giving tough love to somebody at this time, or you could be giving somebody in your life, um, or somebody could be giving you tough love as well. You may have a chance to eliminate debt or pay off loans. Unusual circumstances may surround another person's death or inheritance at this time. Okay, so... I feel like I feel like for some of you here who are single, I'm hearing despite him being here and we all know what he means. I feel like, you know, despite the energies, it is a good time for you to mingle is what I'm hearing, which is interesting. So, yeah. So we want to talk about relationships and being single and stuff like that. So I feel like for some of you here, you could be getting your flirt on. You could be making an attempt to be seen more. The Ten of Swords, for some of you, you're starting over in your life at this time. Certain foundations may no longer apply in your life. And this could be whoever, whatever has to leave your life, let them leave your life. Again, you could be starting over at this time. The hangman card, a time of introspection and reflection. There is something heavy on your mind at this time that you may or may not do during this time period as well. The hierophant card, ooh, a lot of major cards here. Oh my goodness. And they all begin with H too. That's interesting. Um, so anyway, so this could be dealing with a group or organization at this time with this energy you could be reevaluating this group or organization or even family and you may not feel like being around them because with friends like these who the hell needs the enemies so you could be burning your bridges 
at this time with certain people or leaving a group or an organization because you may feel like you're not getting anything out of it. Um, this is a time where you need to focus on your hard work. Don't rest on your laurels with this energy and continue working hard for what you got. The King of Swords, I feel like, brings about clarity to certain situations at this time. For some of you, you can be very analytical in your way of thinking. This could also be truth being revealed as well. You could be making better decisions for yourself during this time period. Or maybe separation away from the situation gives you an easier solution. I feel like for some of you, you're an old soul living in a modern world. The Justice card, I feel like for some of you here, despite the energies, like I was saying, a great time to mingle if you're single, a reversal of fortune, something heavy on your mind, so you may not do anything about this energy anytime soon. For some of you, you could be dealing with the legal system this week with this energy. Dealing with the legal system, dealing with the courts, okay? For some of you, you may not be on speaking terms with certain family members anymore with this energy, so it may be a while before you guys talk again, or you may be walking away from them. The Nine of Coins talks of a move happening, talks of traveling coming up for some of you with this energy as well. The uh, Seven of Coins, something heavy on your mind, but you're not going to do anything about it anytime soon. So this could be a move happening, and you may have to get your financial affairs in Order, and that's probably is correlating with the astrology and that's why you're kind of like buckling down and taking care of your financial responsibilities and like really restricting yourself okay for some of you this could be revamping your website revamping your social media page for others of you certain traditions need to be updated at this time because they no longer apply nor make sense in today's world or almost seem like when it comes to like religion and stuff like that it almost seem like offensive to other people even though they don't understand what it means kind of situation so it could be something like that for others of you an old friend is coming back into your life with this energy or someone that you know is coming back into your life with this energy i do see you need to stay on the right side of the law this week i see police the magician card as above so below so keep the energy positive this week this can be a busy time for you um, during this time period the seven of cups i feel like for some of you this is thoughts of future future coming up at this time finding your spiritual path feeling more connected to your purpose-driven journey at this time so this could be certain good news happening or certain doors opening up for you during this time period the six of wands brings about optimistic energy a time of moving forward with this energy or you could feel a little bit more stab stable stability in your life at this time and start walking away from certain situations or certain situations may no longer apply in your life so certain obstacles I feel could be removed I see politics happening here so be careful with that be careful with the office politics as well the eight of wands I see traveling coming up for some of you for some of you you are manifesting an answer okay so if you wanted somebody like a crush to talk to you or something like that you're manifesting that so this person may talk to you at this time so if you wanted something some kind of response somebody to respond to you you're manifesting it you're defending your beliefs this week with this energy you're standing up for yourself and what is right with this energy as well um the four of coins I feel for some of you, you're more about securing the bag at this time with this energy here. I feel as I connect with this energy, there's something coming up in regards to social services at this time. So for some of you, this could be looking for housing, applying for social security at this time with this energy as well um, with this energy. The two of coins, I feel like this is a time period here. There's money worries um during this time period so and i do like fortune is bubbling over okay and then the king of swords is saying don't worry about money at this time all right i feel like certain things can be a bit of a process at this time this can be a busy time period for you as well burning the candles at both ends of the stick i feel like um this is a success successful time for you and you're getting more than you thought okay so if you thought something was going to do great it's going to do awesome okay um for some of you this is dealing with financial institutions at this time for others of you you may have a wealthy benefactor so you can be um receiving some kind of inheritance at this time i feel like you can be receiving some much needed good news with this energy as well um for some of you this could be correlating what's going on on monday if you're dealing with separation and loss and this could be somebody that you don't necessarily talk to and that you had like a nasty falling out with this person could leave you behind money okay 
um, with this energy. So there's a potential for some of you here to receive some kind of inheritance this week from somebody that you don't necessarily know very well. Um, but I feel like I feel like as I connect with this energy that people in your life talk about you and people in your life were worried about you. And I think that this person was very worried about you and very concerned and may have left you a little something behind or this person really loved you and appreciated you and left you something behind. And you didn't think that you were going to get anything. You know, you didn't expect anything from it. So expect the unexpected at this time. The Knight of Coins, the mind on the money and the money on the mind. I feel like for some of you, I feel like there is a relationship that is coming up or somebody that you're curring, currently dating dating that you feel at home with okay so this is like stability here with a relationship i feel like also you could be a confident leader this week in taking initiative and in dealing with crisis situations a great time for teachers with this energy for some of you, you can be going on holiday at this time with this energy as well um the full card you can be coming up with get rich quick schemes at this time and they're going to do really really well with this energy the wheel of fortune card it Expect the unexpected, okay? And I feel like this is going to be with money. So there could be some kind of unexpected monies coming in for you this week. The Six of Swords, this is moving forward with this energy. This is tolerating certain people and situations during this time period as well. For some of you, this is dealing with money worries um, during this time period. So be careful with this energy. The Three of Coins, this is dealing with on-the-job training. Collaborations could be coming up with this energy as well. Teamwork makes the dream work. The Five of swords for some of you you can be more quiet into yourself you can be dealing with bullies at this time be careful with the gossip i feel like you're over certain people at this time is what i'm seeing and you're ready to just cut them off from you you don't even know why you hang out with certain people anymore you don't even know why you still communicate with certain people anymore so you definitely but the problem is that some people in your life you actually need even though you don't think so you actually need them okay and when the time comes, you're going to realize, oh, no, I don't have nobody to help me. So I would be really careful with burning your bridges at this time because, you know, you may think, oh, I don't need this person. But then when push comes to shove, guess what? You're going to be calling that person. You're going to be calling mommy or daddy at this time. So don't be so quick to burn your bridges at this time, even though these people annoy you and you can only tolerate them in spurts. You know, the devil card, I feel like for some of you here, yeah, you're over certain relationships. Like you're like, I don't want to talk to this person no more. Why do I hang out with this person? For others of you, people around you, you're a mutable sign. So you could be very impressionable and, you know, you could be influenced by the wrong people or certain people are trying to give you advice I would listen to your different options when it comes to advice I feel also with this energy here you need to cock those brains before you shoot that mouth off because you're going to say things that you're going to regret this week as well and I feel like you're going to have some lessons with your mouth with this energy so be careful with that the ten of cups yeah it's going to change how you look at life or it's going to change how you speak to other people at this time okay and the three of wands i feel like with this energy here teamwork definitely makes the dream work this is a time of moving forward with this energy for some of you the focus can be more towards family with this energy Alrighty, show your love and support to your girl marie by liking subscribing and sharing kisses